It is a shot in the arm that 66-year-old Patricia Hawkins Burley of Forest Park and 67-year-old Anthony Bassett of Kennedy Heights felt in the heart. I was excited and I prayed that it didn't snow today. I didn't want to have to postpone it. Oh yeah, I want the shot. I was on the internet. I was uh, calling the health department. I mean, anybody and everybody I could think of, I called and everybody told me no wait, 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 wait. And that's all I kept getting. Other neighborhoods was getting it and my neighborhood wasn't getting it. It started to occur to me why well, was in my neighborhood getting it as equal as the other neighborhoods? Welcome everybody. During this Faith and Community Alliance Town Hall last week. We're being strategic about this, knowing that we have a scarcity. City of Cincinnati Health Commissioner Dr. Melba Moore said her department is mapping where to carry vaccine to better attack racial disparities found in this recent Center for Closing the Health Gap study. In it, researchers found Hamilton County's African Americans had higher death and sickness rates, and those hunting vaccine protection rank among the least likely to get it. This was the perfect opportunity to target the First Ladies for Health. Last summer, a nonprofit run by pastor's wives brought hundreds to Bond Hill's New Prospect Baptist Church for COVID-19 testing. We have the access to the people who need it the most. So the health commissioner asked them to bring back 250 people for vaccines many struggle to get. I think you need that strategy. It says that uh, eventually the system works. While it is the first, this is not the last time the city of Cincinnati will do a pop-up clinic like this. It's based on supplies they get from the state of Ohio, but the health department certainly plans to do others. Everyone who got a shot today expected to be back for their second dose in three weeks. Larry Seward, WCPL 9 News.